Tman 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone! Right now I'm reviewing SH Figure Arts by Bandai Super Mario. Right there is a World of Nintendo figure, Bowser Jr. Packaging looks like this. Everything's in, I'm going to assume, Japanese, whatever you call this language. But there you go with all that. Let's get him out of the box. Let's get this out of the way right away. Here's a comparison between two World of Nintendo figures and Figma Samus right there. Do you like that? If you want to see these guys individually, I have a playlist. I should have a link at the end of the video and a link in the description for my Nintendo related reviews and the World of Nintendo reviews. I don't know where my World of Nintendo Luigi is, but here's Peach. So this is a pretty good scale right there. That's about how much taller than Mario she is. Here are the accessories he's packed with. A gold coin that has a little platform so I can stay up. A question mark block and a super mushroom. Because he is, in fact, the Super Mario, not the regular little size Mario. Which is very, very short if you think about it. This block is just a sculpted yellow block with a white question mark on it. It has a stand port on the bottom. He doesn't come with any stands. You have to buy the separate enemy packs to get that so you can have it suspended in the air and whatnot this doesn't open so you can't hide anything inside it would have been cool because i think this is small enough to be hidden in there but meh, no it might be a little bit too big but afterthought or something they didn't want to put any in the budget so here's the coin i really like this coin it is a fingerprint print magnet but it does look nice and does look like what they look like on Super Mario Kart and whatnot, which is very, very cool. Now, close up on Mario. <clears throat> he does look good. He looks way better than that World of Nintendo one. I mean, the World of Nintendo one is super duper close, but this just goes the extra mile. Like for one, the eyes. The eyes look way better with that little re reflective paint but I like the way the mustache is actually raised off his face and three-dimensional which is very very cool why well, my camera isn't focusing I don't know but they put a lot of effort into his just standing still sculpt and if you want to get really retro he can yeah I'll, I'll get into this right here. You can turn the head that way right there. Well, like I was saying, they put a lot of effort in his just standing here sculpt. Too much effort. Because the way the joints bend makes him look a little bit awkward. And I know they could have went a better route right there. His head feels to be like a sort of a solid chunk mostly the face the hat does feel a little bit hollow but unlike a lot of figures these the ones that I've handled this and Yoshi feels like hollow plastic and I was not expecting that the world of Nintendo ones I believe are way more solid besides things like the elbow looking weird messing up the sculpt as far as their choices as far as how to handle the articulation the arms they wanted them to look so perfect I guess the shoulders that his shoulders do not go out further than that and that is weird I really hate it you have to like turn his arm a certain way and then turn a fist to give off the illusion that the arm is getting into the art or the pose that you want or the type of articulation that you want the wrist does rotate so you can see it only goes out that way and I already rotated around the head can look down a bit or a little bit more forward it can look up a little tiny bit it can tilt a tiny bit but as you see they did put his like turtleneck collar there but if you turn it more than this, it tends to pop 
off. So there you go with that. Weird articulation for the legs because look at how that sculpted. They wanted him to be able to kick all the way forward. It stops there, but you can bend it down and lift it over that notch right there. So his foot can come out and it only rotates on this swivelly ball joint out this far, which is not a ton. If you want to make it go out more than that, you have to turn it this way and give it the illusion that he's going out further than that. Do like a little deaf animation, whatever. The knees bend there. The sculpt breaks up more right there. But they don't rotate or anything. And the feet are on like a ball joint at the bottom and a ball joint at the top. So it can pivot, kick forward, kick back, and whatnot. And the feet are good for st stability. But I think that's about it as far as his articulation. Let's try to get him into one of his iconic poses. We definitely have that fist up, the foot out, and no, how was it? The fist up, this leg out, and this leg back for his typical jumping right there. But the fist is his arms are so short that the fist does not come to the top of his hat, which is unfortunate. So, the only thing else to cover on his back, this panel Mama comes mia. off and it reveals his inner workings and why he's hollow. But there are some stand ports right there. And unfortunately, those stand ports are tiny. They, they do not fit on the Figma stand or any basic stand, so you have to buy his little separate sets if you want him um, elevated off the ground, which is definitely, definitely unfortunate. So, he's a cool representation of Mario. The coloring is good, the paintwork is good. The sculpt is nice, but his articulation is Definitely, definitely lacking. But as far as a posable Mario figure, this is the best you can do because those World of Nintendo figures are lacking even worse because they're they're just economy versions of this, which is kind of weird that they're doing that. Before I end things completely, because of the way his feet work and how tight that ball joint is on the ankle, he is good at being stable as you can see right here so you can get him into some nice running poses unassisted so that's good that's another good point for him but eh, I like him but he's not the best so yeah let me just end this review if you like this review make sure you don't leave without giving me a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe, make sure you click the bell beside the subscription button so you can be notified when I update with more content. I'm, this is pretty much going to be a Nintendo week for me. Let me warn you because I have some other Nintendo related toys to go over. But click any of the videos that you see popping up on the screen right now. And until next time, T-Man 978, out of here.